Hi, I'm Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. My name is Darren Barnett. Ramona Young. Megan Suri. Lee Rodriguez. I'm Jaren Lewison. We're the cast of Never Have I Ever, and today we are doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. My stomach just dropped. I don't know why. <laughs> I know! It's scary! I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Who does Jaron Lewison look like? I don't know. I feel like this is a cast question. Guys, who do, who do I look like? You, you kind of almost That's look like a, yes. a little bit of John Krasinski. Kind of. I will like, super take that. There's a little that. bit of a Dude. resemblance. Yeah. That's a compliment I will for sure you see take. see it? When I was younger, okay. I used to get um, Elijah Wood. That's who I used to get oh, okay. when, when I was younger. It's John like, Krasinski and Elijah Wood had a kid. Okay. All right. Jaron Lewison, Barney and Friends. Yes, of course. <laughs> if you're a really good internet sleuth, you can find my Barney episodes, which was the first thing I ever did as an actor when I was like seven or eight years old. You can find them on YouTube. I know my Trey's seen them because I exposed myself. Pretty sure we've all seen them. Oh, you, everybody's? Okay. It brings me joy. I had very large hair. Uh, I'm, I have no teeth. You'll, yeah. It's, uh, it's... It's so a trip. Cute. <laughs> Jaron Lewison, movies. Oh. Yeah, Tag, I've right? got Tag. I've got Men, Women, and Children. I've got a couple. I want to keep doing more. You were in Tag? Yeah, I played a teen version of Ed Helms' character, Hoagie. Yes. Ah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. I didn't get to meet him, but I saw him like while I was doing a fitting, but I was too nervous to go say anything. Where does Maitri Ramakrishnan... Go to school. Shout out Meadowvale, Meadowvale gang. But technically, I am in Old <laughs> University. I gotta always say it. You gotta shout out you, Meadowvale gang. You say that she every does. time. She gives love every time. I have to shout out the Meadowvale homies. The only reason I'm here is because of good old public education. Okay, so let me have that. Does Maitre Ramakrishnan play harp? Okay, so I didn't play harp prior to JD, but I did take a lot of harp lessons. So during Monday to Friday, every day that would be filming. And then on my Saturday, it would be harp lesson day. And that would be like two hours at the harp, trying to like, you know, make sure it looked super authentic when I was playing. And then also just like out of my own curiosity. So if you gave me a harp, I'm not the one playing the song though. Let's get that clear. I'm not like right. that advanced. I will play you like some simple, nice stuff. But I heard you play still. a little bit for real and you, you're better than you're making it out to be. She's, she's okay. very musical, everyone. You're like a master at piano. And she can sing. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The violin's thank there you. too. Does Maitre Ramakrishnan... Oh, 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 this one's a tricky one. Speaking Tamil. I'm assuming it's asking if I do speak Tamil. I don't speak Tamil fluently. I actually only really understand it because everyone in my household does speak Tamil and I've always been surrounded by Tamil. I personally do not speak Tamil, but I could say, you know, Vanaka Maprisuam, you know, the typical kind of stuff. But yeah, I like to know the survival words like water, Tanni, Iriapomin Sodi, aka food, because that's what matters. This is movie. What movie does Darren Barnett movie. play in? I did a, a Lifetime movie forever ago called Instakiller. I'm currently working on a movie called Apophenia. It's a psycho thriller. Very excited about that. That will be. Within the next two years, probably, that, that will be coming out. My question is, are you the psycho in it? And are you allowed I am to a, say I am a complete nutcase in it. It's amazing. Wow. It's hey, man. Having, so you're just having yourself. a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Wow. Megan. Damn, Megan. Let's go. <laughs> what is Darren Barnett's Snapchat? Dang. Um, Damn. They want to add I, you, Darren. I don't ever use it or check it, um, but I think it's... Truth or Darren? I thought that was a, <laughs> okay. That was a, that's cool actually that like, great. Yeah, it's so bad. It's good. What episode of Criminal Minds was Darren Barnett in? It's episode twenty of like, no, it's season thirteen, episode twenty. I think it's called Unforgettable. It's it, it was. Fun. It's kind of ironic. Yeah. You 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 realize that? Yeah. You figure so one of those twenty thirteen or thirteen twenty. So it, so, one of something like that. The episode's titled Unforgettable. Paxson, never have I ever. Woo! Shirt scene. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Sorry. What that, about um, it? So originally, 
uh, our director wanted me to take my shirt off from behind with one hand and rip it off, but I kept literally like choking myself trying to do it. So I decided to do it this way where I spin it off with the arm. They had me in like a size small to figure flatter myself. I needed them to give me a bigger size shirt to rip it off easier. Um, but I got that second take, I believe. And also a lot of people ask if it was sped up, it was not sped up. I will vouch. I yeah. will vouch. It was second take. Who does Paxson blank in Never Have I Ever? Date. That you are going to have to find out in season two of Never Have I Ever. What blank is Paxson in Never Have I Ever? Grade. Paxson is a junior at Sherman Oaks High. Never Have I Ever does Demi, Davey, end up with Paxson? So it's not Demi Lovato? I don't for think so. I don't think she's in our show unless there's that, a spoiler. For that, you're going to have to watch season two <laughs> oh. Never Have I Ever. You'll find out soon. Gotta see it. When did Megan Surrey start acting? Professionally, since I was eight years old. Oh, my first role was actually a Honda commercial with my dad. Never aired, but nevertheless, free food. First experience with crafty. <laughs> great. Okay. That's great, man. I was with it. That's wholesome. That's so wholesome with your dad, too. Super wholesome. Yeah. Super wholesome. Who is Anissa? Never have I ever. Anissa is a 16-year-old transfer student from a private school who goes to Sherman Oaks. And I play her. Megan Surrey, 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> let's get into it. My scene got cut, and I'm over it, okay? I'm over it. I'm Whoa. totally over it. Not at all, Matt. No, I genuinely am actually not. It was such a cool experience. They sent like a car to my house to pick me up, to take me to the airport. And there was like a guy in a suit holding his phone like this with my name on it. When I got, it was crazy. I felt like, I that was like the first time in a long time where I was like, I'm an actor? What? It was crazy. So great experience, just didn't air. Who did Megan Surrey play in... Valentine's Day. I played a character named Rainy. Um, and that was, it was life changing. I got to work with so many actors that I grew up watching. It was super surreal. Couldn't have been luckier, but like my first job, insane. I think I was nine years old, perhaps. Oh. Yeah, nine years old. I think it came out in 2010. So I was, I was, uh, yeah, nine years old. Damn. Is that the movie Taylor Swift is in? Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. Don't watch it though, please. I'm trying to, so prepubescent. Uh -uh. I'm gonna go watch. You know that, right? Yeah, like, we're no, all gonna go watch just it. Now. No, part. I literally. Yeah, yeah. No, we're obviously all gonna go that see was it. a typo. That that question's not real. <laughs> <laughs> I want Ramona to rip off her own questions. Ooh, wow, yeah. rude. Okay, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Ramona Young. Thirteen reasons why. My scene that. was cut. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, that's not true. I was about to say. <laughs> that's not a thing. I uh, have never seen 13 Reasons. Don't know. I've auditioned, I think, for one of the seasons and, uh, you know, probably like every other young adult actor in L.A. Uh, when Ramona Young, singer. Back in 1984, uh -huh. yeah. I uh, worked at a jazz club as a singer. When Ramona Young singer? What does that mean? It means you're I a singer. It's, it's, well, yeah, when yeah. did you start singing, Ramona? Never professionally, so I sing for fun. Maybe they're telling the future and that you're going to be a singer. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I should start a band. But let the record show, Ramona's a very, very talented singer, like, very yeah. talented, great voice. She Love that. Thanks, man. Just be known. Thank of you. Course. Instagram. Follow me, Stop. Ramona Bish Young. Ramona Bish Young. All Ramona right. Bish. That's how you say it. <laughs> I like it. How tall is Lee Rodriguez? I recently found out that I am not 5'9". I am 5'8 and a half. And mm -hmm. I've been saying that I'm 5'9 this whole time. It's a shock. I think I'm just going to keep saying I'm 5'9. So the answer is 5'9. And you've been telling people on set that you were 5'10 and that you've been growing. 
Exactly. So I thought I really that. thought I was. Where is Lee Rodriguez right now? I am in my publicist's office. Do Fair you- enough. There's a nice wall behind you. Nice yeah. wall. Is Lee Rodriguez married? No, I am not married. All right, straightforward. Let's <laughs> 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 <Just> make it. <laughs> <laughs> What has Lee Rodriguez been in? I've been in Grownish and oh, I don't know this this Snapchat show called Class of Lies and Never Have I Ever. How old is Lee Rodriguez? I am twenty one. What? Oh, I believe that says grade. What grade is Davy in Never Have I Ever? Uh, she's in grade 10. Sorry, sophomore. She's a sophomore in 10th grade. I say grade 10. It just makes sense. Hey, that makes sense to me. What? <sighs> and, oh, shoot. <laughs> what happened to Davy? What happened to Davy in Never Have I Ever? That's a general question. There's a lot. There's a lot that happens. Um, her dad dies. First 15 minutes, straight out the gate. Real sad. Heart attack. Not fun. She finds love. She's got great best friends. Her cousin moves in. Sort of weird. But maybe they get along? Her mom can be a lot. A lot happens to Davy. What episode of Never Have I Ever do Davy and Ben kiss. Oh, that was a bit of a sneak. I'm so sorry for those who haven't watched the show at all. If you haven't, interesting choice that you're watching this video of all of us here. But for those of you guys who have, yeah, last episode, uh, Malibu, like probably the last five minutes there. Yeah. Steamy. Great scene. Love I have that. a question to follow up with that, though, just yeah. because out of my own curiosity. How many takes did you guys do for that? A lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think that yeah. it's just like, because it's all different angles and different setups. And then there was like that drone shot where it like peels out yeah. over the look at Malibu. So we were kissing during that too, because it starts out on us. And so a lot is the answer. And then, and then it's then, not even just in Malibu. Then you have to like film it on the stage with like screens. For the actual scene. So a lot. There's your Googled question. You know. You're welcome, yeah. fans. That's a good question, Megan. That was nerve-wracking, awesome, and <laughs> I, I think I need to go pass out. Now. Damn, okay. I thought it was wow. pretty fun. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Thank you for watching the Wired Autocomplete interview. Remember to check out Never Have I Ever on Netflix, July 15th.